Hello guys, welcome to Civil Concept and in this video we will see 25 most asked bar bending question and answer for interview. Okay, so let's start our video. Our first question is what is bar bending schedule BBS. Okay, so our answer is a uh, bar bending schedule BBS is document that provides the detail of reinforcement steel bars to be used in concrete construction. Okay, it will provide us the detail of reinforcement rebar. Okay, so it contains a list of reinforcement bar uh, with their respective diameter, length, shapes, and quantities. Okay, so bar bending schedules table includes what? diameter of the rebar, length of rebar, shape and quantities, how much rebars has been used for construction. Okay. So I will show you now uh, the table of bar bending schedule. First of all, let us see the question number two. What is the purpose of bar bending schedule? Okay. So to ensure the proper utilization of the steel reinforcement in concrete structure to determine the quantity of the reinforcement required and provide a detailed plan for fabrication and placement of the reinforcement bar. Okay? okay these are the purpose of bar bending schedule okay so the main purpose is uh, it provide the detailed plan for fabrication and placement of the reinforcement bars in a column beam and slab okay so let us see our uh, bar bending schedule table you can see here this is the bar bending schedule table okay and this table contains what types which types of re rod rebar has been used here okay 20 mm 16 mm 12 mm 10 mm etc okay and it includes shape uh, and size of the rebars uh, like you can see here uh, uh, this uh, reverse is like this and this is bent up reverse this uh, reverse is like this this is straight reverse okay this is stirrups and this shows the shape of the reverse okay after that it shows the length of the reverse this is this means uh, 8.13 7.72 1.56 is the length of reverse it shows the quantity of reverse this is the number 3 number 2 number 2 number etc and it uh, will give us the unit weight okay so these are the unit weight of the reverse for 20 mm for 16 mm for 12 mm etc okay and uh, finally it shows the total weight of the rebar you can see here used in the construction and uh, uh, these are the different weight of the uh, rebars uh, according to the shapes length okay and uh, uh, these are the total quantities okay so uh, with the help of this table we can know which uh, shape of the rebar has been used in the construction what are the length and what are the uh, total unit weight and uh, total weight of the rebar used for the different uh, section like beam column or slab okay so let us move forward in number three is uh, our question is what is the standard size of the reinforcement bars used in bar bending schedule preparation okay so the standard size of the reinforcement bar used in the bar bending schedule preparation is 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 14 mm 20 mm 25 mm and 32 mm okay these are the standard size we cannot get the rebar of 11 mm okay you cannot get the rebar of size 19 mm okay so you will get these types of size of bars in the market and you have to know this and uh, these are uh, mostly asked question in the interview okay so question number four is what are the factors that affect the bendings of the reinforcement bar okay so the factor that affecting the bender uh, bending of the reinforcement bars are diameter of the rebar types of the materials used and the temperature during bending process okay after that we will move to our question number five okay so in number five what is the standard lap length for the reinforcement bar in the bar bending schedule okay so you can see here uh, one rod has came from here and another rod has came from here okay so uh, there is some uh, lapping between this uh, rod so how much should be this lapping okay so as answer is the standard lapping length of the reinforcement bar in the bar bending schedule is what 50 times the diameter of the rebar for plain bars and 40 times the diameter of the bars for deformed bar okay so for example our rod is 10 mm then its uh, lapping distance must be what 50 times it means 500 mm as a lapping length okay so our question number six is what is the spacing between the reinforcement bars in the bar bending schedule okay so what must be the spacing between this bar this uh, uh, bars and this bars okay so guys the spacing between the reinforcement bars in a 
बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिजाइन एंड लोड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो व्हेन वी डू डिजाइन ऑफ द स्लैब बीम और कोलोम देन वी कंसीडर द डिफरेंट लोड ऑन दिस स्ट्रक्चर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी ओनली कंसीडर ओनली वी डिसाइड द स्पेसिंग एंड डिफरेंट क्वांटिटी ऑफ स्टील बार्स रिक्वायर फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज व्हाट इज द मिनिमम कंक्रीट कोवर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेनफोर्समेंट बार इन द बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस पिक्चर दिस इज दिस इज आवर कोलम सेक्शन ओके एंड दिस इज आवर स्टीरअप्स ओके सो व्हेन वी सी दिस गैप बिटवीन दिस आउटर सरफेस एक्सपोज सरफेस ऑफ द कंक्रीट एंड दिस स्टीरअप्स दिस इज नॉन एज व्हाट क्लियर कोवर ओके सो द मिनिमम कंक्रीट कोवर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रेनफोर्समेंट बार इज इन अ बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल इज 20 mm for mild exposure condition and 30 mm for several exposed condition okay so uh, there should be minimum of killer cover 20 ohm mm okay now the question number 8 is what is the grade of steel reinforcement bars used in a bar bending schedule okay so answer is the grade of steel bars used in a bar bending schedule is uh, fe 4 uh, 415 fe फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एफ ई फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन सो आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला यूज टू कैलकुलेट वेट ऑफ द रेनफोर्समेंट बार इन द बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल ओके सो द फॉर्मूला यूज टू कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ रेनफोर्समेंट बार इन अ बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल इज वेट पर मीटर के जी पर मीटर विल बी डी स्क्वायर बाय हंड्रेड सिक्सटी टू ओके वेट डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द बार इन अ मिलीमीटर गाइज ओके सो वेन वी एवर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ स्टील बार देन वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला डी स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड सिक्सटी टू विच गिव अस के जी पर मीटर लेंथ ऑफ द रिवार ओके एंड दिस डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द रिवार इन एम एम ओके सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इज वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टेट बार एंड बेंड बेंड बार्स इन अ बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल ओके सो एंसर इज स्टेट बार्स इज रेनफोर्समेंट बार दैट इज यूज इन इट्स ओरिजिनल सेप एंड लेंथ वाइल बेंड ऑफ बार्स इज अ रेनफोर्समेंट बार दैट इज दैट हैज बीन कट एंड बेंड टू द स्पेसिफिक सेप एंड लेंथ एज पर डिजाइन रिक्वायरमेंट ओके सो वेन वी ब्रिंग द रिवार फ्रॉम मार्केट देन दिस टाइप्स ऑफ रॉड इज नाउन एज स्टेप स्टेट बार बट वाइल कंस्ट्रक्शन वो हैव टू बेंड इट इन डिफरेंट एंगल ओके लाइक स्टीर एप्स ओके सो दिस टाइप्स ऑफ रॉड इज नाउन एज व्हाट व्हाट बेंड बार्स ओके सो दिस इज सिंपल एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज What is the standard hook length for the reinforcement bar in the bar bending schedule? Okay, so you can see this is the stirrups, and when we uh, provide a bend in this stirrup, then this distance is known as what hook length. Okay, so what should be the hook length? The standard hook length of the reinforcement bar in uh, BBS is what 75 mm for 90 degree hook and 100 mm for 134. Degree hook. Okay. Now question number twelve is what is the difference between a stirrups and a ties in a bar bending schedule? Okay. So a stirrups is a reinforcement bar that is bent into a rectangular or circular shape, and is used to tie the longitudinal reinforcement bars together. Okay. A tie is a reinforcement bar that is used to hold the reinforcement bars in a position. Okay. So there is a little bit difference between this stirrups and ties. Uh, both are same, but uh, Uh, their purpose is uh, different okay now question number 13 is what is the different uh, between the longitudinal reinforcement and transverse reinforcement in a bar bending schedule okay so longitudinal reinforcement is a reinforcement provided in a longitudinal uh, direction of the concrete member to resist tensile force and bending moments but transverse reinforcement is a reinforcement provided in the transverse direction to resist shear force and prevent डायग्नल क्रैकिंग ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट इट्स पर्पोज इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट ओके सो लंगल रेनफोर्समेंट प्रिवेंट अस फ्रॉम टेन्साइल फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट एंड ट्रांसवर्स रेनफोर्समेंट प्रिवेंट अस फ्रॉम शेयर फोर्स एंड डायग्नल क्रैकिंग ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन इज व्हाट इज द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन द स्टीरअप इन द बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल ओके अगेन द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन द स्टीरअप इन द बार बेंडिंग शेड्यूल डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिजाइन एंड लोड रिक्वायरमेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द स्पेसिंग शुड नॉट एक्सीड द मिनिमम स्पेसिंग अलाउड बाय द कोड ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज 
what is the standard uh, bend diameter of reinforcement bar in the BBS okay so the standard bend diameter for the reinforcement bar in the BBS is four times the diameter of the bars for bar up to 15 12 mm and five times the diameter of the bars for uh, bars above 12 mm okay now question number 16 is what is the difference between u shaped stirrups and rectangular stirrups in the bbs okay so a u shaped stirrups in a uh, is a stirrup that is bent into a u shape while rectangular stirrups is stirrup that is bent into a rectangular shape this is the basic difference both are used to tie the longitudinal reinforcement bar together but u shaped stirrups uh, provide better confinement and generally used for high stress situation okay now question number 17 so the question number 17 is what is the difference between the single line and double line reinforcement in the bar bending schedule okay so the single line reinforcement is when the reinforcement bars are placed in the single row while double line reinforcement is when the reinforcement bars are placed in the two rows one above the other double line reinforcement is used in situation where the required reinforcement cannot be provided in a single row okay now question number 18 is what is the difference between a uh, standard hooks and crank hook in a bar bending schedule so a uh, standard hook is a hook that is bent at a uh, 90 degree while a crank hook is a hook that is bent at the angle greater than 90 degree okay so when we bend a hook in 90 degree like this okay so this hook is known as what a standard hook but when we bend a hook like uh, this greater than 90 degree uh, called 135 degree or 40 degree okay so this uh, uh, hook is known as crank hook okay so crank hooks are used in situation where the required hook length cannot be achieved with a standard hook okay now question number 19 okay so question number 19 is what is the minimum numbers of bars required for a column reinforcement in a bar bending schedule so the number minimum number of bars used for uh, required for column reinforcement in a bar bending schedule is 4 with the minimum diameter of the 12 mm okay so we have to remember that if our column is rectangular then we have to use four number of rebars as a minimum okay and 12 mm now question number 20 is what is the difference between a straight anchor and a bent anchor in the bar bending schedule okay so a straight anchor is a reinforcement bar that is embedded in concrete and used to provide a connection between the concrete member and another structure member okay so uh, anchorage used uh, to connect one structure from another structure like column beam and beam to beam okay so a bent anchor is a reinforcement bar that is bent at an angle uh, and uh, used to provide a connection between two concrete members okay so there is two two process of connecting one member with another one is simply by putting straight rebar and another is uh, by putting the curved rebar okay so this is the difference between the straight anchor and bent anchor now question number 21 is what is the purpose of bar bending schedule software okay so the bar bending schedule software is used to create edit and manage bar bending schedule quick and accurately it automates the process of creating bar bending schedule and eliminates error and uh, inconsistencies okay so uh, it uh, make our work easier and fast okay now question number 22 is what are the advantage of using bar bending schedule software okay so if you are going to uh, interview for job then you must know what are the different software used for bar bending schedule okay so what is the advantage of using bar bending schedule software the advantage of using bar bending schedule software is to increase accuracy faster processing time reduce error and improved productivity okay so question number 23 is what is the role of bar bender in the preparation of a bar bending schedule okay so a bar bender is responsible for uh, interpreting the design drawing selecting the appropriate reinforcement bars cutting and bending the bars to require shape and length and preparing the bar bending schedule okay now question number 24 is what is the difference between a bar bending schedule and reinforced detailing drawing okay so there is quite simple a bar bending schedule is a document that provides a list of reinforcement bar with their respective diameter length shape 
and quantities okay or reinforcement detailing drawing on the other hand is a graphical representation of reinforcement detail including the uh, placement and placing of the rebar stirrups and ties okay so it only inform about the placing of the rebar stirrups and ties okay but uh, the bar bending schedule help us to know the diameter length shape and quantity of the uh, steel bars okay and now our last question is 25 number what is the significance of a bar bending schedule in a construction okay so uh, this is the important of the bar bending schedule so a bar bending schedule is a critical document in a construction process as it provides necessary information for the fabrication cutting bending and placement of the reinforcement bar okay so it helps ensure the quality and integrity integrity of the structure and ensure that reinforcement meets the design requirement and specification okay so you can see here the bar bending schedule for the slab and the in slab we will use 12 mm of diameter 8 mm the diameter and the shape of the uh, rebar will remain like this and like this its length will be like this and total length will be like this okay and total weight is 96 kg and 54 kg of, uh, of this uh, bars and this bars separately okay and if we add this both bars then we will get what total quantity of steel bars used for the slab okay so guys this much for today please like this video and subscribe uh, this channel for new update about civil engineering thank you